Welcome to another episode of The Vegan Pulse. I am your host, Nancy Arenas. Today, my guest is Leila Dehem. Dr. Dehem is passionate about food justice and health equity. She aims to find effective ways to address racial and social economic issues that affect health. She is a member of the advisory board for the Plant-Based Health Professionals UK and has created the 21-Day Plant-Based Health Challenge to encourage and invite more people to go plant-based. Stick around. I want to introduce her to you. <laughs> hey, Leila, how are you? I'm good. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for having me on this uh, podcast. I'm really honored to be here. I appreciate you being here on this podcast. It is so, um, for me, it is amazing to talk to different people and find out about different individuals who are vegan and their journey to veganism and what they do, especially with a story like yours. But before we get there, can you tell our viewers about your journey into veganism? Sure. Um, well, I actually went vegetarian in my first year of medical school. Um, I remember I was dissecting a human arm and I looked at the muscle fibers and I thought the whole thing just looked kind of the meat that I eat in my meals and something about the whole picture really disturbed me. I didn't make the connection that, you know, animals are sentient beings and all that, but just the resemblance really just was kind of disgusting. So I went vegetarian, but... Um, it is kind of like, it's actually interesting because even my mom and my sister, we were actually as a family, you know, the women in the family, we weren't really big meat eaters. So my mom, I was living at home at the, uh, at the time. So she just made dishes without meat. And I remember she used actually mushroom instead of meat. Uh, it was quite interesting. So I was vegetarian, but you know, like everybody else felt, uh, I felt like, you know, eating meat was the normal thing to do. I mean, I never considered that other people should stop eating meat. I actually thought, you know, that is something everybody should be doing anyway. So I would actually force myself to have some meat on occasions. And then, you know, years later, I met a group of martial artists. I do martial arts myself. And, uh, you know, I was actually training with them and I was really inspired by them. And, I, and they were vegetarians. So that was the first time that I actually thought, why can I not be just... Uh, fully vegetarian. Why do I have to eat meat on occasion? So I stopped eating meat. And then again, years, a few years later, I got involved in animal rescue, mainly dog rescue. And I felt, okay, I'm vegetarian. That's enough. I'm not harming any animals. And it was so funny because a fellow rescuer asked me, why are you not vegan? And I thought, she's weird. Why is she asking me you know, to go vegan? What is that? I had no idea what veganism was. Then another friend, um, another rescuer friend, posted a video from, you know, by Gary Urofsky. And I remember as soon as he talked about egg and dairy industry, that was it for me. I had to stop uh, eating them. I'm a very spiritual person. And I believe that whatever I do, whatever we do, uh, whatever we say carries a certain energy. So as soon as I knew that, you know, the cow's milk is actually taken away from a baby. So I felt like there's so much suffering, so much, you know, kind of bad energy there. So I just couldn't have it anymore. So that's it. I went vegan then and there. And to be honest, I have no idea what I was doing in the first few months. I think I ate more peanut butter sandwiches than real food. And uh, yeah, but uh, for me, it was just, uh, I really could not have any more animal products. I just couldn't. That was it. And yes, I haven't looked back. I think it was one of the best decisions, one of the best steps I actually made in my life. So I'm very happy. That is, that is a great story. Um, and you mentioned uh, Gary Yurovsky, one of my heroes. Uh, maybe one day I'll meet him. <laughs> um, you know, and, and how he talks about that because uh, in his videos, you know, some people ask about vegetarian and vegan. I know that I did myself because when I uh, went vegan, I started by being vegetarian and I thought, what's the harm? What's the difference? And then my friend, Mike, he said, well, here's the difference. And he talked about the suffering of the cows is still, they're killing the baby. So you still, they're still killing animals because once the cow has dried up from their milk, then they send them to slaughter. And so I went vegan right then and there. Yeah. I just did it like that. Um, now, now it's very interesting because you are trained a medical doctor, correct? 
Yes. And you were practicing and then you decided to instead become a nutritionist and help people transfer to a plant-based diet. Tell us about that. Well, it didn't happen overnight. And to be honest, when I gave up medicine, I didn't do it because I wanted, I wanted to become a nutritionist. I, um, I had severe migraines, really bad. I mean, you know, uh, and I, could, I didn't have any social life. I, I was uh, either working or taking time off from work, or I was, you know, just spending my free time in bed because of headaches. So at some point I've decided that's it, I'm gonna give up, you know, I just can't carry on, uh, carry on like that. So, and then after that, I became a personal trainer, you know, exercise, maybe that is preventive medicine, maybe I could help myself with exercise. And then at the time I went vegan, as I mentioned, you know, I was involved in animal rescue. So I went vegan for, for the animals at the time. And then, but again, you know, as a personal trainer, people started asking me questions. So where do you get your protein? You know, what about this and that? So I, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I was a medical doctor, but I had no idea about nutrition. I didn't even know what a healthy diet was. I mean, when I look back at my own diet, I always thought as, soon as, uh, as long as I have like an apple and a banana every day, I'm okay. I can eat anything uh, else I want throughout the day. So I was, I was really having a bad diet. I just didn't know it. So anyway, I went to a conference and I learned about a whole food plant-based diet, which is, I call it a healthy vegan diet. And, uh, you know, I, at the time I was desperate. I had uh, what is called chronic migraines. And chronic migraine is like having more than 15 days of a headache you know, per month. And 10 of those days are actually migraine headaches. And I had about like kind of 18, 19 days of pain and 12 of those were migraines. So I was, you know, spending most of my time actually in bed with pain. So I changed my diet. And again, I did actually overnight, you know, I just uh, gave up all the junk food and just changed it to a whole food plant-based diet. And you know, something really amazing happened. Within just five days, my headaches disappeared. I mean, for me, I was really blown away. I have never seen any medication that actually works such a magic within a very short time. And I really felt like, oh, I have actually found a magical cure. For me, that is, you know, what it felt like. And uh, so I felt like, you know, I have actually to share with everybody. So, you know, I thought, okay, that's it. I, you know, I spent a large part of my life in bed suffering. And now the answer, you know, was so easy. It was right in front of my eyes. I want to go and help others, other people to see the same, you know, to find a relief of their pain. So I went back to university. I got a master's degree in nutrition because I also wanted to learn more. I wanted to really understand it so that I can actually, you know, talk about nutrition and help people to understand it. I'm an ethical vegan. And obviously I want the whole world to go vegan. But I think you know, if I can show them the benefits of a plant-based diet, if their health improves, then they are more open to listening, you know, to me when I talk about the animals. So for me, being a nutritionist, uh, there are two sides to, to it. It's one is actually part of my activism, of my vegan activism, but also because, uh, you know, I want to help people. So it, 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 I'm very fortunate that I actually found nutrition, I have to say. I, yeah, I consider myself very lucky. Well, can you tell me about your 21-day plant-based health challenge? Yes, uh, actually, that is, again, one of the things I have created. And I must say, I'm quite uh, happy that I did it. I always wanted to create something which helps people to make that transition. Because, you know, some people like yourself and me, we do it, uh, you know, then and there, it comes easy to us. But not everybody is like that. They struggle. And food is such a kind of emotional thing. You know, we attach so many emotions and memories to it. So it can be quite challenging, especially if your environment is not supporting you. So I wanted to create something to give people the tools to gradually change if that is what they needed, you know, a gradual change or and give them the information because I feel like, you know, when you understand why it is beneficial to your health, then you're more likely to do it. And also just motivate people. We need sometimes, you know, somebody to motivate uh, uh, us because, uh, you know, change can be challenging. Change is not easy. So I wanted it to be like a motivational email 
full of information and I had some people you know share, uh, contributing recipes so we have recipes so um, actually right now uh, we are also offering uh, you know week not weekly monthly support Q and A so uh, yes and we had actually more non vegans to sign up so I'm really happy about that as well. That is awesome and just a quick question when you were um, doing your um education, medical education to become a doctor. How much nutrition um, classes did you take? How much education did you get on nutrition as a doctor? Be honest, I would say zero because it wasn't, it was no formal education nutrition, nothing. But whatever we learned about nutrition was like kind of part of another module. So it was so little that I, I felt like there wasn't anything about diet, you know, especially diet as a, as a medicine diet as a, as a tool to actually to reduce our health problems, nothing. So yeah, sad. Right. And that's, um, I guess that's one of the things that Dr. Neil Bernard um, is trying to do with Physicians Committee on Responsible Medicine uh, is to try to have um, health professionals learn about nutrition and whole plant-based eating because, you know, I know that I had this one lady come up to a table to me uh, when I was tabling one day and she says, oh, my doctor said I can't go vegan because I got diabetes. And I was like, get a different doctor. No, I'm just saying, I'm like, I don't know about that. That just sounds a little- I'm talking ill. about authority figures. People actually listen to them. So it's really important that they educate themselves, that they are actually up to date with the latest research. So yes, yeah, very important. And that's why I think what he does is very important because so many people listen to doctors who don't have um, any nutrition education, which can be dangerous. Yes, true. Yes. You know, and it's funny because some doctors, I feel they get their information on diet and nutrition from mainstream media, you know, not even like kind of mainstream kind of magazines and newspapers. I mean, come on, you need to kind of read the proper, proper literature, you know? Mm hmm. So it's just scary for me now that I know it, you know, because I know some people just want to blindly listen to whatever a doctor might say. And, you know, and you should always question. I'm not saying that they're wrong, but they're, but, you know, you have to look out for yourself as well. You can't just go blindly into anything. Yeah, sure. Especially when it comes to nutrition. I think, you know, if you haven't had any training, just admit it. Right. Wrong. Because it could be a death in life situation. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Leila, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and to meet you. Thank you. And nice. how is the weather in London right now? It's dark. It's actually night. Oh. That's right. <laughs> it's it's night time. <laughs> it's night time, yes. But it's an, it was a nice day, so it's okay. <laughs> well, thanks for giving me a part of your night for us. Bye. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you for joining us on another episode of The Vegan Pulse. I am your host, Nancy Arenas. Remember to like us on Facebook, check out our website, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you got a pulse, you got a purpose. Live vegan.